In this video, we'll discuss diagnosing and repairing network connections. If you have problems with network connectivity, Windows Vista contains tools for diagnosing and repairing network connections. There are several ways to access these tools. Open the Network and Sharing Center window as you did in the Open the Network and Sharing Center video earlier in this chapter. In the Tasks list, click Diagnose and Repair. The Windows Network Diagnostics dialog box appears and attempts to identify the problem with your active network connections. If there are any problems, Vista attempts to repair it. If there are no problems, Vista reports that there were no problems and asks if you want to send additional details about the problem to Microsoft by clicking the Send Information link. Since there are no problems, I'll click the Close button. If you want to diagnose a network connection that is not active, Open the Network Connections window by clicking the Manage Network Connections link in the Tasks list. Right-click on the connection you want to diagnose, and then click Diagnose in the menu. I'm checking my wireless connection, and the Windows Network Diagnostics dialog box reports none of my preferred wireless networks are in range, but says there are other wireless networks available. The Connect to a Network window appears, after I click the View Available Wireless Networks link and shows me the available list of wireless networks. Since this network is security enabled, I'll click the Cancel button. If Vista cannot fix the problem, then the Windows Network Diagnostics dialog box will let you know. When I diagnose my Bluetooth network connection, Vista reports that this problem cannot be repaired automatically. When I click the link for more information about how to solve the problem, the Windows Help and Support window appears and displays information about troubleshooting network and internet connection problems.